Hi, good evening once again. It's time for Hold No Bars with yours truly, Manzoon Adir, on MTV. First, let me check the volume down on the internal monitor. That's it. Good. So tonight, uh, we have quite a lively program for you. I'm going to talk about the two interviews the two major presidential candidates have had in the last eight days. David Granger last Friday on Kaicho News and Dr. Irfan Ali this week on the same Kaicho News. First, let me congratulate uh, Irfan on an excellent interview, especially for a young candidate. Uh, Irfan, less than half the age of David Granger and a real powerful interview. The other interview we want to speak about is that of Justice Claudette Singh, the Chairman of the Elections Commission, Justice Claudette Singh. Had another, um, I think it was yesterday, an interview with, on Kaicho News, Leonard Gildhari, and um, nothing earth-shattering, um, I think a sincere interview um, was given, and I at least commend her for exposing herself for a whole hour um, to the scrutiny of the press and more particularly she ended the program saying to Mr. Gilhari, I'm available open if you hear anything and you want clarification, call me. And um, that is an encouraging sign on that, that I've gotten out of the interview. I'm still very worried though about the decision to um, take off of these 25,000 persons who have not uplifted their ID cards. And let me tell you, you can call me right away and I'll start taking your calls. Your call today on the David Granger interview, the Irfan Ali interview, and also the interview of the Chairman of Elections Commission, we'll say the Chairwoman. But, you know, in this case, uh, Chairman is going to be um, neutral gender. So, um, we want to hear from, from you on that, right? Um, so, we have uh, one person here saying already, good night, Mr. Nadir. Do you think we're going to get the free and fair elections? So, all, all of us would have had an opportunity, if you didn't have, check the Kaicho News um, interview. It may be on Facebook, and it's also... I'm sure going to be on YouTube. Uh, I'm concerned about the 25,000 persons with the ID card issue. I want to remind Justice Singh that in 2015, 44,000 persons had not uplifted their ID cards. Not 25, 44,000 persons did not uplift ID cards. And those ID cards had existed going way back, going way back. And the point was made that even if you're going to take off people, what happened to the persons who did the last two house-to-house -house registration? These persons would have already been verified. They would have submitted authentic documents, and they would have been verified, and it would have been verified based on two party scrutineers going. So just the saying, think carefully about these 25,000 people because um, there is a lot of cause for concern here. Uh, I want to urge all of you, look, you don't want to take a chance that your name will get struck off. And I know that's going to open up a lot of um, challenges, legal and otherwise regarding the election. So let's collect the cards. If you are one of the persons who got registered or you know of someone who was registered and hasn't uplifted an ID card, please go collect your ID card. Um, let us ensure that we can have a free and fair elections. And this person here who called or who already texted um, is concerned about that. So Justice Singh sounded extremely um, sincere, she wants to do a good job, she said, for God and for her country. And um, I commend her for that statement. 
So let's hear your views. The Irfan Ali interview, Dr. Irfan Ali and Brigadier General retired David Arthur Granger. Both have faced the the media, they they put themselves up for public scrutiny, they've spoken about their platforms and um, David Granger was strong on his government having produced in the four years Irfan Ali very strong on his vision for Guyana, the creation of jobs, the energizing of the economy. So we've had two important persons. Let me take this um, this call. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, Mr. Mario. Good I'm evening. Watching your pro I'm watching your program. Go ahead. I just have a, a, just a little input sure. into it. I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just saying something. Go ahead. Now, these people believe ID card. An ID card is somebody important document. You have to be identified with this thing. If you go to the wharf, if you go to anywhere, you need a, a matter of identification. Right. If you have your ID card since 19 when forever, mm -hmm. you know, and these people give you 21 days, which would be publishing the papers or on the radio or what have you done. Mm -hmm. I can't see why they can't go and update the stuff. It simply tells me that maybe they're not wrong mm -hmm. or they're not interested. Mm -hmm. Th that's my um, contribution. Now, our next thing. Mm -hmm. You know, Guyana have a tradition. Mm -hmm. They don't look to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. They look to, to equalize with people. For instance, if you go in North Road mm -hmm. and you see 10 hole mm -hmm. on the road yes. and, and, and you, you, you carry this 10 hole, right. the government in power will tell you, hey, no, if you go to Suriname and you check in North Road, you find 40 hole. Mm -hmm. They don't look to remedy the situation. They just find things to, 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 what would you call it, to fight it with. Mm -hmm. I think that's the problem we have in this country right now. People don't look at the solution to the matter. They mm -hmm. just try to, to collaborate with some other poor country. Oh, you could hear people um, working on, uh, um, in mud. Uh -huh. We are in a, a, a good state. We got to look at our development. Right. Um, that is for that. And the ID card stuff. Uh -huh. I, I feel to myself, people are supposed to uplift the ID card if they're interested mm -hmm. and if they know the value of this thing mm -hmm. and they have 21 days to uplift your stuff because if it is uplift it in 2015, mm -hmm. this is 2019. Tomorrow, next next month will be 2020. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want to uplift your ID card if this thing is such an important piece of document for you? Mm -hmm. Good. That's my contribution. Okay, my, only, my, 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 my big concern is the threat of striking off a person's name from the voters list. That's my big issue, which shouldn't happen. Yeah, but, but then right? You don't, you, if you have 10 years yeah. since in the form administration time, mm -hmm. and you can't go and pick up your ID card, it tells me that your ID card doesn't make sense. You either you're not here, mm -hmm. or your ID card doesn't matter. Right. These people can't wait on you forever mm -hmm. for you to uplift your ID card before we get an election. Except. How long must they wait? Another 10 years before we get yeah. the election again? But you never know. So you can't just throw away the baby with the bathwater. But that's yeah, your that's view. What I'm saying. I got it. I got you. View. Yes. Right? That's my view. These people can't wait for another five years. When, when we don't get election, if, if they got to wait and pull out, pull out this thing. When this, this thing supposed to happen since mid early in this year. Good man. Well, thanks for your comments, right? Thank you very much. Sir. Good. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead. You hear me? Now, listen, I, I, I accept that call of this guy. No, listen, sir. How many years that these people have not called the ID card? Since 2001? She's saying since 2008. Good, so there's how many years? But hold on, hold on. Not everybody from 2008. Well, it's not I don't know if it's a majority. I haven't seen the record. So I can't say if it's 10 percent, okay. right? That's because from last year. La exactly. Yes. From last. The, the last. Is from the, the 10 years. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. And I, I don't know. I, I have to see the list and the how long they exist. 
I'm listening. I just put 20,000 and change. Mm -hmm. Haven't collected the ID card. Where are these people? I have my ID card. Mm -hmm. So, wait, your ID card is uh, amazed at doing certain um, things. Mm -hmm. Where are these people? Well, I, that's why. I, okay, let me just let me just add. That's why I'm saying. For you to get an ID card. Mahola, no. You're asking me where are these people, right? Yeah. And the one of the one of the speculations would be that these persons are phantom persons, right? All I all I will say. All I would say is that these persons went and registered with a source document, either a birth certificate or a passport. And then GCOM visits everybody who registered in the presence of two scrutineers, one from the opposition and one from the government. So these persons, these persons physically existed. Where are they today? Where are they today is as good as good a guess as yours or mine? Well, the amount of years. Well, again, we don't know if the majority is from... Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I I agree with you too. I got all three. I was, I was fortunate when registration first came about. Right? The red one, I went to Dolphin Government School. I was a little I kid. And I did that, right? So, I did that over and I collect mine. Yeah. Good. Yeah, but, but, sorry, but I feel there's something wrong. I can't see 20,000 plus they didn't collect their ID. Something is wrong. I just I'm made, yeah, I just made the observation. Yeah, I just made the observation though in yes, yes. 2000. Wrong? Yeah. I just you made. Okay, I just made the observation. Is however, yeah. Right. I ID card. I just want to say that in twenty, in twenty fifteen, we had four to four thousand cards on our hands, right? That has since, in spite of three continuous registration thereafter, we now only have 25. So close to 20,000 persons who had ID cards existing did collect them, you know, okay. right? So just wanted to, yes, so it reduced from 4 to 4 to 25. I want to believe so. I want to believe so too. Th you know it, Matt. Thanks, boss. All, you have a good weekend. Great. Okay, so I know some people are trying to get through on the lines. Let me just make sure that the landlines are working. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Okay, that one seems to be... Okay, good. So I'll operate the cell phone too. I know a couple of persons are, th are trying to get through... Um, Good. Take that one off. Okay, go ahead. Yes. On the ID cards. Hi, good evening. Hold no bars. You're on the air. Good evening, Mr. Nadir. Good evening. Uh, you know, hello, Mr. Nadir. It's got a problem with this ID card. But, but this, you can't blame the, the citizens in them. Like, why they don't go and update them ID cards. So, mm -hmm. you apply for it, you get a huge problem. You come back in 30 days. When you go back, no, come back Monday, mm -hmm. get back to us, do this. And people get fed up, people got to work, people got to take their children to school, people mm -hmm. got to cook, people got to do things. And just because GCOM, GCOM, them, they don't do what they're supposed to do. You know, they're not serious with ID care because I was one of them victims. Mm -hmm. so I have to run more than three months to get just an update for ID care. No, it ain't done. It ain't finished. Come back, check us. Sometimes mm -hmm. they feel that they feel lazy, they can't get up on the chair for going to look for your ID card. Okay, they watch the paper. Okay, it is not finished. Come back. Okay. You know, and people say this damn shit. Who, who, Excuse who, the language. Who, 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 run behind it, run behind it. Uh -huh. you know, and, and you know, just left it like that and forget, and forget about it. 
That's my contribution. They gotta be serious about it. Okay. Yeah, Great. Thanks. Okay, we have another comment coming through on the WhatsApp messages. Good night, Mr. Nader. Collection of ID cards is not the issue. People don't seem to understand the problem. It can be these persons migrated, is not interested in the ID cards because they have um, not a form of identification, but they cannot be removed from the voters list on the basis of not uplifting their ID cards. The law is clear, right? And I think this person captures it, right? I may have a passport. It's easier to get a passport as a form of identification than to get a national ID card. Let me compliment the passport office because within one week, you don't have to call anybody up. You just get your birth certificate and you go in and you can get a passport in one week, right? When the system closes off, as it did on Monday, you have no opportunity to get a national ID card until after the elections, good? So it's easy to get a passport. So the point you're making there, WhatsApp Messenger, is that um, it's a valid one, you can get a passport easier than you can get an ID card. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Um, Go ahead. The only way that I see that the only way for a song over there, you can't get to there. Mm -hmm. This will be a yes. But I, I'm sure the song will get away. Yes. Okay. And if they if, if the ones that are nice and none are more yes, the dead. Really interested. Yeah. And, and should trick their way to happen. Okay. Thank you. There's a good point in that. Thanks. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have a problem going on in Eastern Iraq. Uh-huh. And I'm going to say this to mm -hmm. I am a man here. And my ID card is lost. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have my passport. It will expire by the end of, let me say, by February. Uh -huh. But I use my passport to do that. To vote? To vote. Yes, you can. Because the, the second your passport expires, you can't. You cannot use it. No, but you. But if you have a valid passport, you can. Yes, but it's gonna expire. Well, in that time when it can be. But what you could do, right? They would renew your passport two, three months before it expires. Inside, in, in fact, in many instances, up to six months, because many of the embassies require you to have at least six months in your passport before the issue. These things, when I was registered, right? right? Go ahead. I was living on three feet down. Mm -hmm. With no address. Right. And my lead, when I registered here, and as you can, it's a register inside of um, the field on top of the, by, by the school. Uh -huh. And I go on that register here, and I see my name is not on, on, not on that list. Okay. Um, if you don't mind giving me your name, I can check it right now. If you want to yeah. give me your name. If you could check it right now and tell me if my name is there. My name is Kyle Jones. Spell the last name. J-O-N-E-S. <laughs> huh? My credit is done and it's running out to talk to you. What's the first name? What's the first name? Kyle Jones. C-L-A-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Just Clarence Jones. And yeah. from C. Felix. C. Felix. Uh, okay. Yeah. But Clarence, I can remember your number if you run out, and I'll call you back, right? All right. Okay. Um, GPL Dam, yes, you there. C. Field, Torquay, and Georgetown. GPL Dam. Clarence Anthony Jones, 1331. Exactly. Exa you're on the list. Oh, it's on there? Yeah, 133 is your ID, 17168. No, no, but I can use my old when my passport on expire. If you have a go in, go in next month, go in next week, and they'll give you a new passport. Right? Okay. Take care. Good. Okay. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, good evening. Good, go ahead. Um, according to my understanding about what the chief from chair is saying, is that the 20,000 or the 25,000 people name that she would be removing, uh -huh. the chief from would be removing, would be placed on a separate list. Mm hmm and when they show up on voters, they, if they show up on election day, then 
you know, they have to present some farm of ID. But mm -hmm. I don't see as a, as any logic. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> okay. Thank you. They have, because they have, they have people, representative of all the party. Right. In, in the polling place. So exactly. So why are you going to remove them from one list and put them on the next list? The list. They're still on the list. So just leave the burning people, excuse me. Right? I don't see the logic behind it. it, it has yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much too. Okay, I don't see the logic like that person. Excellent point. Don't see the log logic. Good. So let's um, continue to take the calls. Let the calls keep coming through. The ID cards, the interview of Irfan, uh, Dr. Irfan Ali, and the interview of Brigadier General David Granger, the incumbent president, and the, um, the main challenger, Dr. Irfan Ali. Half the age and um, one is strong on philosophy, the other one is strong on energy. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Uh, let me just put on this, this, this TV. Why? Go on. All is good, man. I'm and waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, man. I oh. know when you wait, you can use your fry call. Mr. Dictionary, go ahead. I tell you now. You see, this lady. Uh huh. Uh, what is she doing to take and have them names on the list? Uh -huh. Is it constitutional? Is mm. it in the constitution? No, it's not. It's not in the constitution. But yes, she is determined and zealous mm -hmm. and, and very determined right. to get them off, right? Mm -hmm. She had the, con the constitution to call elections within three months. Right. She wasn't determined to, to uphold the constitution. But she wasn't there. You can't blame Justice Clarence Singh for that. No, but when she came in there... She had a chance to call the election before March 20th. She, she promised to call the election before the serial. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what Mr. Jack Pugh said, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and in, in her interview, she did give an explanation. She gave an explanation. Material, I got something that's sophistry. Uh -huh. Right? Sophistry, the meaning of the word, is that you could have some arguments that some real nice and logical, uh -huh. but it's really invalid. Plenty fluff. And right? no substance. You call it sophistry or you call it sophism. Uh -huh. Right? I think she she could be in the bracket. Okay. And I want to talk about Mr. Jack Dio. Go ahead. Uh, you know, he was he was criticizing uh Granger for painting everything in green. Uh -huh. But the notice now like he sits in a chair that is green. Uh -huh. And he dressing in green. So I wanna know if he He's sending out some indication to Granger that you are across the floor. Okay. Because if you are across the floor, it looks like you alone and maybe Susan and for be representative. You got to take the reins of the people. But I'm a hooligan, remember? <laughs> yeah, but you got to get a hooligan, a hooligan leader. Anyway, yeah. thanks a lot. But I want, I want to make a point, right? <laughs> you know the say when you get beat with your own whip is, you know, really, really hurtful? So maybe the man they using the green. Them is joining them. So why not if Jack Dio joining them? Because he, 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 he might. He got me a little, 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 little skeptical. You know, he got me a little shaky. He might. I, he, I don't think I'll pass on a message to the man. I can talk to you though. That he correct, Good. Right? Take care. Pull your line. Good. Pull your line. Thanks. Okay. So um, yes, quite a few persons calling with respect to the legality of removing people. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Hi, good night to you, sir. Good evening, sweetheart. I was on the impression that the ID card would be changed from the previous one that we've been using now. Is that so? I, if this house, the house registration, was um, in full operation, one would have expected they would have had a new system and a new ID card. But for these elections, I haven't had the indication that it will be changed. Okay, because I haven't been registered because most of the time when they um uh, in our area, I was at work. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been I haven't registered. You have never been registered? No, no, I have been registered for the last previous election. Uh huh. What you want me to check your name right now on the air? Yeah, uh, it's Patricia Springer. S P R I N G E R. Patricia. Yeah, uh, five review right Okay. P A T R I C I A? Yeah. Okay. So I'll give give me three sec seconds, excuse me, and it will come up. Patricia S Alicia. Yes. Okay, Alicia, you're on. You're four four eight zero Riverview, right by Georgetown. Housewife. 
So you're on. You don't have to. You don't have to worry. You're on the list. Okay. Okay, Patricia. Take care, love. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, to all those persons who are worried about this new list, the preliminary list of electors claims and objections prior, right? Um, has been issued. It has over six hundred or forty-six thousand names. Most likely, if you were registered before, you're on the list. If you are doubtful, the 681-9312 number, you don't have to call. Just WhatsApp me your name, and I will send you back a WhatsApp image of your registration if you're there. If you're not there, I'll tell you, right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Nadir. I recharge the name the 25,000 or 20,000 people that they're removing it from. 2018 20, or is just 20 years? No, this is the problem. It's going to be up to last year from last year because that was the last at the registration. But that, that, that is right. They can move people from 20 who is just 20 years. Okay. I, I have, I have a, a bit of hope because as she ended the interview, right, she says it. The, this decision hasn't been cast. There's going to be some issue of publishing the names and so. I'll tell you what we will do. As soon as we get that list out, we're going to run after all 20, 25,000 people and say, look, go and publish your ID cards, right? Oh. Outside of that, they cannot be removed from the list. If she does that, she's creating 25,000 reasons for people to vitiate, using her own words, to vitiate the March elections. Okay. Thank you. One, one more thing, Chris. Sure, one go ahead. Things, one of the things I don't hear um, people saying is that when I when a no confidence motion kick in, mm -hmm. whatever name is on the list, if it's 20,000 people name on the list, you can't override the Constitution. you got to go to the election. Well, you know... Why Jacob is talking about preparation. This post vote the election, and if 15,000 vote for party, then is the winner. And if, if, that's how it's supposed to work. I mean, you know, why they keep saying about preparation and preparation from the time and no confidence motion ticket election is what to go for election. You know, this is the point I have made this week on another show, which I do. Every Tuesday, I do a show on Freedom Radio 91.1 FM from 2 to 4 o'clock. And this is the point I've raised, right? You know, since we had a no confidence motion, right, 90 days, sorry, three months, it's not 90 days, the Constitution says three months. So um, you have to have elections. Since then, Australia came and had elections within 50 days. India came and had elections a little bit longer because they take one month of voting. The largest democracy, 900 million people. They had elections and in four days they were able to count 900 million votes and declare the results. Canada came, they took 41, 42 days. England is going to take 40 days, December 12th, right? But Swana came and had elections. And we still fighting over a list. 440 days. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, so we have um I just want to check one more person's name. They just text. Um, um, and this person here is um, Selwyn Salvador. Selwyn. S-E-L-W-Y. Bear with people, right? Because, you know, while we, we, we're going to argue points of principles and so, Selwyn Salvador, 7 Yarrow Dam, Alexander Village, right? So, Selwyn, you're on the list. I think I know that address, and I want to believe I know Selwyn, right? So Yarrow Dam, Selwyn, um, you're on the list. So we have a couple of more persons wanting me to check. Uh, let me let us give a, the the callers a chance to make their points, and I will um, send each one of you before midnight tonight. Who send in? I'll send if you're on the list. Go ahead. Hold no bars. You're on the air. Not too bad. Let me turn up your volume. Go ahead. It's a whole lot of uh, fluff going on. They're running out of excuses. Okay. <laughs> so how are you doing? Pretty good, you know. Pretty I'm good. I'm a bit out of the loop. I've been very busy. Uh, I've lost track of what's happening. 
Yeah, yeah. man, you got to stay in the loop. Now it's time when you have to stay in the loop. I have visitors. Okay, you got I'm visitors. Afraid, I'm afraid to wake them up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you have a good night. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay, so we have... Um, one of the lines seems to be tied up, one of the landlines. I don't know if Kevin, anyway. But we, we're getting through and we get the calls that are coming in. Let me just, okay, great. One of the landlines seem to be tied up. Oh, hello? Hello? Okay, good. We, we've cleared the lines again. Um, okay, thank you. It was from my dad, that's Selvin Salvador. That's good. And then we have another person saying here, I think Granger is suffering from Alzheimer. He's always contradicting himself. Um, not too sure if, uh, but I know he did have a form of cancer. I don't know about the memory loss, right? And, and then we have a couple of persons want um, name checks. I will do that if you, unless you want me to do it online. We have a Ramdani. Pulmati, right? Um, R A M D H A N I E and Pulmati. P U L P H P H U L M A T I E. Okay, so the lines are now open again, and we're just checking a couple of names. Your point on the Removal of people from the list, the interview with Dr. Irfan Ali and the interview with Brigadier General David Granger. Your comments. Pulmati, um, 28 Northeast Golden Grove, East Bank Demerara. If that's your address, you're on the air. Pulmati. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, I'll turn up the volume a bit for you. Go ahead. I saw the interview with Granger. Uh, mm -hmm. But he chose the person he wanted to interview him. Mm -hmm. And then, when every time Mr. Chantel has a best conference, mm -hmm. anyone is almost alone. Mm -hmm. So, so, what should I say? Uh, send any question to him. Mm -hmm. Why don't Granger do the same? Mm -hmm. So that any, he could have a press conference and anyone could sit there and do the test. Mm -hmm. Send the questions to him and let me see the answer that he can, you know? Uh -huh. He will punish. He will, he will probably get the heart attack mm -hmm. with the questions that will come to him that he can't answer. Mm -hmm. Like how Jack Davis get questions, he can answer anything after his head without mm -hmm. looking at paper, mm -hmm. without looking at notes. Good. Well, thanks a lot, right? No. Okay, so one person is impressed with how Mr. Jack Dio answers this question and not so impressed with how Mr. Granger does his. Hi, good evening, you're on the air, hold no bars. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, you know, I've been searching for over mm -hmm. for the past couple of months since I'm home. Uh -huh. Now, you know, people say that Granger's will get a heart attack and mm -hmm. all these things. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been there how long? Four years? Four years. Okay, four years. I think the people of the era, being East Indians, being Afro-Americans, being as the people, the first people that were here mm -hmm. in the coming was the Amerindians. Mm -hmm. All of them come together. The people together should sit down and think mm -hmm. what have happened between 23 years and what had happened in four years. Uh -huh. But I guess people don't have a lack of memory of what's mm -hmm. been happening, we were on a list. I've been living overseas. Mm -hmm. We were on a list where we drugs and all these things. We were off a list. You check the European Union, you check the Canadian High Commission, you check the, the American Embassy, the American Ambassador, and all these. 
Mm-hmm. You were also the list. But still, when you look at it, we are coming to an election and everybody's making their own opinions. Right. But when you will finish, we are all Guyanese. Mm-hmm. And we all have to sit and vote. We have to live with it mm-hmm. as Guyanese. So people, the people should come together and think whatever happens and affects anyone, it affects all of us, East Asians, Afro-Americans, all of us. Whatever happens, beings, whoever be as the president of the other, it affects all of us. Mm-hmm. All we are getting is, you know, we are here, oh, you're the coolie man, oh, there's a black man. And the, we are still with this thing, we have this racism thing between us. Mm-hmm. Now, you, I, you sit down, and you see Mr. Javi, okay, he has a press conference, but something that should happen, the two candidates of the, who are running for president should have something where the, uh, 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 something public where people can go and ask them questions. Mm-hmm. And they can sit down and, and answer the public, or the public have questions that they need to ask. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have a program, you sit down there, do your program, that's very good. You know, I like that suggestion, you know, put them in a town hall meeting and then of get... Course. Right, not a debate, a tongue all meeting that people and ask them questions. Yeah. Well, that, that would be something nice. So, you know, there are, right. there are questions that people need to be asked. We, we, me and you can sit down, we are on the TV and I'm sitting at home, we'll make our, our suggestions. Mm-hmm. But the candidates should sit down and see what's the plan forward for the other. Or whatever, if the plan forward of their, the PPP, PNC, APNU, or all that, mm-hmm. their plans could better us or could affect us. And then together we have to we have to make that decision. They put up a town hall meeting, we sit down and we make all our decisions and answer our questions and we'll know what's what. But what's the wait for the second of March when then goes the elections? Well let's see what happens because I think it's a good start that both of the uh, candidates, the premier candidates, have already faced off in terms of not together, but they've already had major interviews on one of the more popular medium, right? Yes, that's right. So let us see, let us see them face to face in a debate, and let them let's see them on a town hall meeting. That'd be interesting, right? Because Thank you. with a town hall meeting, the questions could come from anywhere. Anywhere, of course. Right. Thanks a lot. Great, great so contribution, welcome. man. Good. Thanks. Okay. So I. <laughs> The, the program might be turning into a check my name on the list. So I just had a couple of them, including Ram Singh Yogeshwar Anand, 73 Public Road, North East Grove, East Bank, Demerara. Yes, Ram Singh Yogeshwar Anand, you're on the list. Good. Got a couple of more. So in between the calls coming in, I will check and then make the announcements, right? So, um, I have a couple more, but let the calls keep coming. We've had a great program this, uh, this evening in terms of a lot of constructive comments. So keep them coming. The town hall meeting, the issue of taking people off the list, and some persons hoping that everything will go well for a free and fair elections, and that Guyana comes out as the winner on March the 2nd. Good. but. Um, let's see what's going to happen in the next couple of months. Shortly, the time for nominations will have to come. It has to be 32 days at least before voting day. So if voting day is going to be the 2nd of March and next year is a leap year. Yes, next year is a leap year. So you know that by the end of January, you'll have you'll see the presentation of list of candidates and all the parties going to City Hall. And that's not too far away because we're almost almost halfway into November and then we have the Christmas season and then bang, smack into major campaigning. Right? So let's see what will happen. I have another name coming through, in fact about four names um, from her stelling I have to check while you are making the comments. Uh, one person has been trying to get me, I see like about five calls uh, missed from that person. Let me just, yes, you're on the air, hold no bars. What's your observation? I hear nothing. Okay, she hasn't heard anything. Good. 
So, hi, good evening. You're on the air, hold no bars. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, I want to know something, man. If I can answer. Yeah, good. Sure. What is political people and do with pension money? What is the CCJ, then go to the CCJ for do what? Mm-hmm. Pay us with money? Mm-hmm. Me and the non non result come out from the CCJ? Mm-hmm. Well, what, what, what's the justice about that? Okay, well, um, at least you had the ruling saying that the government had to resign and hold the elections within three months, yes. right? So at least you had that, um, you know. Now I got that. They don't got that. Mm -hmm. Because if I got it, it's supposed to be three months. Don't already be supposed to don't get election. Right. Now I got me suffering. Uh-huh. Okay, Paolo, thanks for calling, right? Okay, you welcome, sir. Good man. Okay, uh, Yadram Siomangal Singh from 79 Somerset Court. Yes, you're on the list. Right, Yadram? And um, you're on the list. So let's get the calls coming while I check a few more names as people are very interested. You know, for almost since the claims and objections started um, and the list was announced on the um, released on the 25th, 26th of September. We've been asking people to check the list, check the list, check the list. But um, we don't have a problem with you checking the list still. But if you're not on the list, you will have a problem getting on. Hi, good evening. Hold the bars. You're on the air. Go ahead. Redu reduce the volume and go ahead. Wa alaikum salam. Go ahead. Okay, you talk and I listen. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, things are rough and it's extremely slow for the last two months. That's all I can say. Right? Yeah. Take care, man. Good. Okay, so they had a person who called in from Somerset Court, and um, both of the names you've mentioned are on the list, right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello, good evening. You're on the air? Okay, so um, if you're not ready, we're not going to allow you to type the lines, right? Um, and I still have quite a few persons to check. Remember, if I don't check all of you during this program, I will check them before midnight and send you a list, right? Good. So the one from Somerset Court who call in, um, both of the names you asked to check, they're on the list. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Go ahead. I live in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I let the people do the work. Uh huh. Can't replace their time. You understand? Yeah, stop criticizing the opposition. Let them do. Mm hmm. Stop criticizing the opposition. Yeah, because I'm trying to stick on with job. Okay. Okay. Well, one person ex ex one person had said what he thought, and I said, as far as I know, he has. A form of cancer. I didn't call that on him, right? I tried to correct someone. Okay, so I have a list of one, two, three names which I'll have to check, and we have just about 10 minutes remaining on the program. Uh, if you're going to send names to me, make sure you, spend, you spell them correct, right? Good. Uh, and if you don't want me to announce the names on TV, let me know. But if you don't, I will say it out on the TV. So I have a person, the Narayan family, one name, two names, three names, right? And um, of those three names, I've already located Savitri. Yes, um, on the list. Don't have to worry, Savitri, you're on the list. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. 
Go ahead. Let me. Please. The president doesn't have cancer. Uh huh. Cancer. Okay. Okay. Just lower down the TV a little bit for me. Go ahead. Okay. Thanks. Sure. His last medical checkup. Uh huh. Free of cancer, so he doesn't have cancer anymore. Mm -hmm. okay, thank okay, thank you very much. Okay, so the president does not have cancer. There's no sign of cancer with Mr. Granger, right? Um, so we stand corrected, and those of you who have cancer, I want to suggest that you you should seek similar treatment. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good night, Mr. Rajiv. Good evening. Man, you got to load the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're going to have to call back because that was annoying, right? Um, yes. Go ahead. Okay, clear the air now. Back. Yes, so the president doesn't have cancer. There's no sign of the cancer. Um, so, we have a couple of person names I'm checking right now and in the meanwhile you can call and let your views be known on the program whether it's the, pre the president's performance, air fan performance, the list those are the three main topics today on hold no bars right um, I'm just checking on Northeast Grove, a person has a long list of names here while but we're counting down now. As I said, you have a minimum of 32 days between nomination day, when the lists are presented, and voting day. And if you take the minimum of 32 days, then uh, by the end of January, lists will be supplied. Right? Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. I enjoy life and have no president. Excellent. That's why I have no PVC. Great. I will never live on the PVC no more. Me want to live in men. Go ahead. Okay. So, hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good night, Mr. Nadio. I like to check my, uh, my name on the list. Uh huh. And uh, what's your name? Ram Ram Kumkaran. Kum Karan, the name sounds familiar. K U M K A R R. K H U M. K H. K H U M, yeah. H U M. K A R E N. One R. Yeah. Kum Karan, what's the first name? Ram Narayan. R A M N A R I N E. A I N E. Ram Narayan. R A I N E. Yeah. Okay, Ram Narayan. Kum Karan, right? Let's give me three seconds. Thousand one. Kum Karin. K H U M K R A N. K R A N. K R A N. Kum Karan. R A M N A R A I N E. Yeah. Um, Ram Karan. I don't see it, but I can. I'll make a note and I'll make another check. K H U M K A R A N. Right. Yeah. I I don't I don't see. Did you vote in the last election? Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, hold on, you voted, right? I think I I did enter a wrong spelling. Yes, you are on the list. One three nine I, seven. Check it, my wife is on the list. Three fourteen to our street horse telling is right. bank. Right. You're, check it, my wife is on the list. Uh huh. What's wife number name? Sylvia Marlin. S Y L V I. Yeah. All right. And um, yes, Marlin M A R L Y N. 314 yes both of you are on good okay. let's let's Thanks go you're welcome let's go back to some of the calls <coughs> excuse me somehow i didn't get no hardly any calls on the landlines uh, on the landline today but the um, whatsapp has been working pretty well so we've had quite a few um persons here's another question here we can't jail granger for breaching the constitution his memory is good. My name is on the list and they sent. Okay, good. They sent the name. I'll check that name for you. Um, right. Okay, there's a Singh family and time is running out for us. Hi, good evening. You're on the air with Hold No Bars. Go ahead. You're on the air. 
Okay. Yes. Time is running out on the program. We have just about four minutes remaining. I'll try and take two or three more calls while I check off a few names. Um, so there's a Singh family. You had quite a few names to, to check. And I also have the Narain family. I, I will check those before midnight. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hold no bars. Good evening. You know, I would like to to Ranger to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the same place where he went and get himself cured from cancer. Mm -hmm. Take all the sickness from them as a president. Mm -hmm. Take all the sickness from them to the same place mm -hmm. and get them look after at the same place so everybody gonna be free from cancer. Thank you very Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, Mr. Granger, you have a request from a citizen that um, since you have had such success, please take all the other cancer patients to that same institution in Cuba. Let's hope that they all will be well. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. You're on the air. Just one second. I got to turn up the volume here, right? Go. Yes, go ahead. Got you. So, um, over the the um, European the European the communist country, I register. Mm -hmm. And I feel back. Uh, okay, well, this has been. Yeah, this has been an issue, and we are being very vigilant in this regard. Extremely vigilant in this regard, right? Um. Not them alone. It is very Yes, I know. In fact, I had a, I saw a post from Jerome Khan, who was coming in, the attorney at law and former member of parliament for the um, People's National Congress reform. And he did, he did mention about a lot of Brazilians and Venezuelans coming through Ogle. And they had a special line to look after these guys coming in and they have their, even their people to receive them coming in the restricted area. And the Guyanese citizen, Jerome Khan, coming from Latem, had to stand up and wait. Right? So, yeah, that's something, something there didn't look and sound correct. And I know Jerome was um, fuming, rightly so. But we just have about a minute remaining. I see a person who has been um, on before. I can't take that call. The 66668, and I wouldn't complete the number. Right, you've had a chance before, and let's give one other person an opportunity to come in before we close off quite an interactive program for this Friday evening, Friday of November the 8th. This weekend, Yamanabi, and I want to extend Yamanabi. Yamanabi greetings to everyone. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His birth and death was on the same day. The Yamanabi is a national holiday commemorating the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So this weekend, that is what is going to happen. The final call for tonight, you're on the air. Okay, could you just, you have WhatsApp? Send me, send me the name on WhatsApp, and I, I, I live a couple of minutes away from here. And by the time I get in, before 12 o'clock, I guarantee you, I'll send you back the okay, information. Thank, thank you. you. Great. Okay, it's been a pretty good program. I should have been checking people's name on the list um, for some time. Now, one thing I was impressed upon, about, sorry, is that persons were not afraid to give their names on TV and ask to check and announce, except for one, one family, right? And that's a good sign because democracy people should be f very free to express their opinion. They should be free from fear to vote for whoever they want. And when they come out immediately, they should be free to say, I voted this way. All the developed countries Right, all the democratic countries, I should not, they do what they call exit poll. People come out of the polling place and they tell the media houses how they voted. And that's how we have to be able to operate in our country. That's a democracy. Persons 
are free to make their own decisions and that decision be respected, they not be ridiculed, bullied, or harmed. From all of us here at MTV, myself, Kevin, the directors of MTV, we want to say thank you for an excellent program this evening in terms of the interactiveness. We want to wish you a very good rest of the night. Thank you very much.